Hi guys, today I'm going to be making the Jam and Rock Hard Candy Cauldrons. And I will fast forward through all of this because you guys have seen it. Okay guys, and I'm back, and we are just going to load these cauldrons up. I always like to mix by hand a little bit, make sure. Ah, this one. God, this makes me want candy. <laughs> this is a really true, true candy fragrance. Like, really true. And I clean these up before I put any kind of decorations on them. This fragrance might actually not get any. I'm not sure. I just can't think of what to put on top of it. I don't know. Maybe it's like chocolate. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I come up with. So for all of you guys that struggle with bath bombs, these are the way to go. Okay. It's hard to make them very personal, but it can be done. And you will see me do it with some other ones, I don't think it this fragrance, I just feel like it doesn't, I don't know, lend itself so much to what I'm doing to the other ones. I don't know. We'll see. Because the other ones, you know, I'm doing like a blood drizzle with spiders and what have you. And this one, the, the fragrance, I don't know. Yes, I could, but it's not just the fragrance, it's the color. I did pink. Probably should have done purple, but <laughs> purple's more Halloween, right? I don't know. These are a real hot mess. Takes me a few minutes to clean them all up, but because that powder gets everywhere, and I do get them cleaned out. These are fun in the bath. I agree. I have fun with them. Just 
trying to pop right here. Usually it doesn't happen because it's so dry here. But we've had a little bit of humidity the last few days. It's very weird, trust me. Very weird. Vegas is usually, seriously, if we get 11% humidity, it's like, um, it's like peeing in a shower or something. I mean, we just don't have humidity. It's so dry here. But this summer we've had a, there was one week in July, we were like 100% humidity for the whole week. It was crazy. I've never experienced that here. But it would happen. And it happened, um, the very first time I ever made the fairy tale bath bombs. Thankfully, it didn't affect them. I, I got them thrown in the oven real quick and when I saw that the humidity was rising. And then from that, after they dry, we just hurried up and packaged them, hurried up and packaged them. It was a race against the clock to get them packaged before they activated. Because you know, my recipe is not meant for humid climates. Um, when I lived in Florida, it was a different recipe. You know, it, wherever you live, you have to do your recipe according to where you live. So, this one does not work well in humid, humid climates. That's why I always say I, I, I don't give out recipes because I don't know where you live. I'm willing to help you formulate a recipe, and I would even be willing to help you tweak my recipe. But you have to be a part of the process. That's for numerous reasons, but the biggest one is because I don't know where you live. I don't know your humidity levels. I don't know your skill level. Bath bombs, you know, there's just too many variables to do it, to just give you a recipe without you helping. Plus, if you don't help, then you don't learn how to do it, right? And so then the next time you need to tweak it, like if your humidity level changes, you won't know what to do. And that happens, you know, it doesn't happen so much for me here in Vegas, but in other climates, like, in, like when I lived in Florida, it's very humid, very, very humid in the summer. But in the winter, it's not. And um, I know a lot of people don't know that, but it really isn't. And you don't really realize that till you live there. And so the recipe that works in the summer, you know, it's too dry for the winter in Florida. You need a moisture recipe then. So in Florida, you kind of have to change the recipe. Unless you just have an all-weather recipe, which some people do. Mine isn't. Mine has way too many liquids for a humid climate. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, and I don't think I'll be bringing you guys back because this is... This is what we got, and I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna decorate these ones. I'm gonna leave them as is. Alright, so I will leave you the pictures. Thank you so much, and have a great day.